Algebra 2 Quran, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Basic Graph of the Sine Function. Y equals A, the sine, of B times X plus C plus D. Concept number five, vertical shift. The odds of someone doing exactly what you tell them to do is pretty slim, but I guarantee that if you cram with me, you'll become an Algebra 2 master. What we're doing here is so effective. I'm coaching you to turn your wants and desires of getting an A or perfect test scores into a new paradigm. I want to include everyone who needs a boost in Algebra 2, okay? If I could stick every single math student with a syringe containing a healthy dose of eye-opening awareness of their inner mathematical genius, I probably would. You have lots of peers and classmates and colleagues who also need to cram. So inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order this complete cram session and be sure to spread the word to them as well. They too can inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com and just think about it. If they have the same knowledge as you, they'll make great study buddies. The concept of cramming often has a negative connotation, but what people are actually thinking of is hurrying. <laughs> which is the result of fear and it's consequently destructive. We're not hurrying here, we're cramming, there's a difference. Hurrying is jam-packing tons of unorganized information into your mental spiritual DNA over tiny amounts of elapsed time. Whereas cramming is taking quantum leaps in your understanding in an organized way in what seems to have been instant, okay? So let's delve into the concept of the vertical shift as it pertains to the trigonometric function sine of some value x. Transformations of trigonometric graphs. This is the general graph of y is equivalent to a the sine of b times x plus c plus d. Define the variable d. Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a brief moment to think. All right, so D basically is the vertical shift. It's how far the midline of the graph has been translated vertically. So here you can see the original position of the midline was here, and it's been translated this distance vertically, okay? Positive values of um, D translate the function up, which is what we're dealing with here, if this was the original position. So our D is positive, and negative values of D translate the function down. The midline is um, the average of the maximum and minimum values of the function. Uh, this transformation concept applies to both the sine function as well as the cosine function, okay? So as you can see, intellectual comprehension of this material was not difficult. After the short amount of time it takes to complete the entire cram session, you'll be prepared to answer a battery of questions about Algebra 2, so inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order the complete cram session. All right, thanks for tuning in.